to start today, I had to pull out the big guns and I had to pull out my leaf. My leaf is here in the middle of the table. I love it. It can just pull out really simple. So, big table is ready. Now, let's begin. I'm going to start with our placemat first. A lot of times I start with my centerpiece first just to make sure I'm going to have enough room for it. But since I have my leaf in, I know that I'm going to have enough room. I already tested it out. So I'm going to um, start with our placemat. I have this really adorable, these are from Pier 1, and this is just looks like a little, I want to say cabbage leaf. And I love it because it looks super springish. I like the green of it. So we're going to start with this. Okay, so next up, I am going to use this charger that I also got from Pier 1. I really like this charger, it's very versatile. It's a kind of cream, has a little bit of like a antique goldish right here. I think you can either, these are great for like dressing things up or, or even just being casual. We're gonna go with this next. Okay, so next up, I'm going to use a plain white plate. I got mine up here one. <laughs> Are you feeling the theme here? <laughs> you guys can get these anywhere. You, you can get these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, Dollar General, Walmart. Everybody has these pretty cheap. Um, so, and they're just such a great plate to like really change up however you want to do your table. So next up we're going to add just a plain white plate. I know you're thinking it's looking kind of boring right now, but have faith. Next up, I have my super pretty lemon plates that I found. I don't know, these just make me feel happy. <laughs> they just seem like, I don't know, sunny and bright. And so this is gonna go on top next. So I bought these super fun yellow napkins that for Easter because they're bright but as everyone knows when you pull them out of the package this is what they look like and I say in every video if you don't iron these I will come find you <laughs> and they just look so much better if you iron them you yeah it'll make your table look way classier okay so we have our napkin all ironed and what I want you to do is I just want you to fold it in and fold it in. I'm gonna keep it nice and wide. So that's how we're gonna do that. And then I want you to just place it underneath here. I want it to kind of come down from the chair, be up here and be like this. I don't want it to necessarily be even. I actually want it to be a little shorter on this and a little longer down here. And you can just push your chair right back in if you need to. So that's how we're gonna do it like that. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do our silverware. I have this awesome new gold silverware that my sister got me for my birthday. I love it, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna just place our silverware on the side. We're gonna do our fork and our knife and our spoon on the other since we already have our napkin under there. Make sure you place your knife where the sharp edge is facing towards the person who is eating the meal. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna use these really pretty glasses that I have. I got them from Pier One. I like them because they're very flowery and floral. And so next we're gonna get our glasses. Now we have our glasses. If you've watched any of my other tablescape videos, I love to put little individual salt and pepper shakers on the table, so let's get those. Okay, and you're just gonna place those to the left of each person up top. Okay, 
Okay, this is where we're at right now. I think it's looking really cheery. Okay, now let's bring in something for the middle of the table to start making that look so much better. Okay, so next up I have this long wooden tray that I got from Kirkland's and I'm gonna place it in the middle of the table. So normally I would either have like a table runner or that kind of thing, but after the amount of stuff that I'm about to place in the middle of the table, it felt like way too much. I got a really cool um, like moss table runner that I was gonna do down the middle, but it was too much. And I would rather things look more clean and just very elegant instead of just a bunch of stuff just to place a bunch of stuff. So first we're gonna place this in the middle. Okay, just stick with me here, but I got this really cool candle holder from Pier One and I'm now gonna place this in the middle of the wooden tray that I got from Kirkland's because I want some candlelight for this because I want it to look elegant. So let me go grab what we're going to do next. Okay, do you guys remember this piece from the centerpiece video? Um, so I'm going to steal these lemons out of here <laughs> and I'm going to place them in this tray all around this candle opera. The best part about buying stuff like this is like what I like to say in a lot of my videos, I want it to be versatile. I want to be able to use it for other things. I hate buying stuff and only being able to use it one time for one thing and that's it. But also another great thing about these lemons, have you guys looked around? There are hardly ever lemons that have the leaves on them. And I looked all over. I love these ones that I found at Kirkland's. I will list them down below. I listed them in my other video, but just in case, um, cause these are great. I can't see the front side from back here, so I might have to come around there. Let me come around there. Okay. I absolutely love this. I think this looks so pretty, but I actually want to do a little more to the table. So let me go grab that. I chose this wood candle over here because it actually kind of matches the wood of my table. It is okay to mix and match your woods and your, the old school style of everything having to be super matchy matchy is definitely out the window. It's okay to think outside of the box, so keep that in mind. Okay, well lastly for this table, I found these adorable lemon trees at Michael's and they did not come with the pots. I actually um, bought the cute little pots, placed them in there, and then here's the lemons I was talking about that a lot of people find everywhere. Target, uh, I think maybe Hobby Lobby. They don't have the leaves on them, so they're just not stand out. But I put them in here with it just to kind of like dress this little bowl up a little bit more. But I, thought, I really like the lemons on that are hanging down from this. Just gives a little something. So keep in mind, here's how we have people sitting across from each other. So make sure that these are staying over far enough so that they're not blocking the view. Okay, I really love this. I feel like this. we're getting to a point where I don't wanna add a lot more, but I do have one more thing I wanna add that maybe a lot of people don't think about, um, but lately I've been thinking about it and I really like it, so let me go grab it. Okay. Needed to change the camera angle in order for you to see this. So I have this chandelier that hangs above my table. And sometimes if you feel like your table is feeling heavy, like there's a lot of stuff on it and down, you can use like a garland or something and put it around your chandelier to help draw the eye up so everything doesn't feel so heavy down on this side. So I found this pretty lemon one at Michael's and I'm just gonna, don't overdo it. <laughs> don't make it too heavy up there either. I'm just gonna place this around it's just Add a little something extra to the table, but also help draw our eye up. And yes, I'm gonna stand on the chair. I think that just adds a little something extra. I really like that. It really makes our table look so pretty. Okay, and lastly, 
I want to change out my wreath to match just because that's something that I'm really into lately. I just think it makes it kind of fun. So we're going to take this one off. This super fun, this is a pretty wreath, guys. I don't know if it's the camera does it justice, but I got this one at Kirkland's. I got that one at Kirkland's, and it is such a pretty wreath. I really like it my hair come on it. I think it just, oh, it really, your eye is really drawn to this. I have no idea if the camera does it justice. It's super pretty. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to end up doing with my buffet here. I might make that another video. I, I don't want to do too much, so I don't know if it's a whole video worth. But right now, I'm going to leave it simple because I have a lot going on over here. Me and my gigantic lighter. This is the one I use for my fireplace. If you watched my Christmas tablescape, I'm still using this one. What a pretty spring table. I'm going to give you a close-up look of this tray and candle holder. With glasses. Okay, so if we want to make this table look eastery but subtle, look at these adorable napkin rings I found at Pier 1. And all we're going to do is we're going to switch out and we're going to do use this. So just open your napkin up. I place my silverware, I gather it all together. I place my silverware inside in the center like this. To where, and then just gather it like that. Put your little bunny ears over. Put your plate back on. And then in order to still see the plate, we're gonna set this on the side. Okay, I really like how that looks. It adds something. Let's add a little something to our centerpiece to bring Easter into this, and then let's call it good. Okay, and lastly, I just wanted to add a little something to the centerpiece. Uh, if you watched my mantle video, if you haven't, check it out. I bought these cute little moss, like grass bunnies. I added little strings around their neck for a little tie, and I'm just gonna add these in here on the sides, just to like, give it a little something but like I said at the beginning I didn't want the typical Easter look of all the blue pink Easter egg stuff so I think this is just a subtle way to make it look Eastery without overdoing it I hope you guys liked today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. Come back for more. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much.